wacky. It is, uh, I might call it Wacky Wednesday, I don't know. I have a story to tell. I'll wait till we get everybody up and running on here. Um, but uh, Twinkies seem to be a thing. Because um, I've got, I mean, who doesn't have Twinkie cereal, right? To go with their Twinkie coffee. Um, it's uh, it's pretty amazing. So we'll get there in a second. Morning, Rob. Morning, Virginia. And uh, Michelle and Rylan. Uh, that is Team Freckles. And Team Freckles has something to do with Twinkie coffee. I'll tell you more. Uh, Tiana and Robin and Peyton and Brody and Mr. Ron Little and Colfax. Good morning. And Wendy and Thunder Bay. And good morning. And we're doing Galatians 4, 21 through 31. 4, 21 through 31. Morning, Randy. Um, and Cheryl, good morning to you. Good morning to your hubby. Um, uh, Corey, good morning to you. Matt Meester, morning, bud. Michelle, good morning to you. Angela Gibson, good morning. And Alyssa, good morning to you out on the uh, goat chicken extravaganza uh, ranch out by Palouse. She's got all kinds of cool uh, new animals on the move out there. Um, and Ingrid, good morning. Uh, Kelsey, yes, oh my goodness is right. Uh, wait till you hear, the, hear how it tastes. Uh, Rennie and Gray and Judy and Matt and Toby and Leanna um, and uh, all kinds of people. Joan, and Zach, uh, good morning, bud. And uh, Short Stuff, good morning. And Carol and Angie, what cereal? It is Twinkie cereal, if you never knew there was such a thing. Um, morning, Stephanie. Um, and Scott, good morning. And Faith, good morning. And Elizabeth McGarry, I believe you're new if I don't, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So let us know where you're watching from. Anybody that's new, if you're watching and you've never watched Jesus Time with us, uh, let us know where you're watching from. We just like to say hi and welcome you to the, to the gang. Uh, Miss Karen, good morning to you. So, um, uh, Michelle and Rylan, uh, our uh, gals I've known for a long time, Michelle, um, has uh, daughters and one of her daughters was good friends with my daughter for a while growing up when they were young and then we've just known each other over the years because of church and friends in common and stuff and Rylan is her youngest daughter and uh, we were joking, uh, they help with blessing beds um, and Rylan was joking about uh, cereal that she eats and Twinkie cereal and I was giving her a hard time so next thing you know uh, when we uh, connected um, she got me Twinkie cereal so that was a while back so I tried the Twinkie cereal well I get home uh, yesterday and I have a package on my front porch and I have uh, a box and so I open the box and on the top of the box is I have this lovely super sweet little note uh, from Rylan, uh, I miss you, enjoy, love Rylan, which was very nice, and then inside was this, this uh, big box, is this little package, uh, and this little package contained two Twinkie K-Cups, um, which made me laugh a lot, which is awesome, and so I brewed it up, and I don't know if I can get, oh yeah, you can see, so this is what Twinkie coffee looks like with no creamer. This is just straight Twinkie coffee. And it's got this awesome film uh, on it. It looks a little bit like chicken broth in a cup, but to be honest with you. So here we go. First try of Twinkie coffee or cappuccino. Maybe that's why. All right, here we go. Ah. Yep. Oh, it tastes just like the cereal. It tastes like, uh, yeah. It tastes like Twinkies um, in a super unhealthy way. You should all go get some of this and uh, try it. That is hilarious. Rylan, you're awesome. 
I'm sure you're laughing right now and got a big old smile and a giggle. So uh, good job. Thanks for the treat. Um, I will enjoy as much of it as I can before I throw up. All right. Super fun. Uh, hey, <laughs> on that note, let me pray for us. And uh, if you're new with us, we don't normally do uh, coffee and cereal reviews, but it was just sort of a fun thing today. We normally just get up in the morning, we rally the troops, we pray, we spend a little bit of time in God's Word, talk about it, and then uh, I pray for everybody and we let you get rolling. Um, also, if you're new with us, if you go to the Jesus Time page and find the post that's pinned uh, to the top of the page, you'll see a Jesus Time Nugget Notebook uh, um, post with a picture that looks like this. And if you'd like to get a free one of those, a uh, little journal and some swag, just uh, click the link in that top post and sign up for it. It doesn't cost anything. Um, and we just want to make it easy for you to be a part of the family every day and uh, be keeping track of um, God's Word as you're going through it and any nuggets, little things to chew on that you pick up as we go through our Devo time in the morning. So let me pray for us and then we're going to get into finishing up Galatians chapter 4 this morning. All right. Lord, we love you. Thank you so much for your Word. Thank you for Paul and his passion for people to understand um, the significance of uh, freedom in Christ and that he fought so hard for that and it's still his his tenacity and um, faithfulness to the truth is still helping people understand freedom today and so we just pray these things in Jesus name amen all right so we are Galatians 4 uh, verse 21 it's where we're starting off all right so, it goes like this. Tell me, uh, you who want to live under the law, do you know that what the law actually says? The scriptures say that Abraham had two sons, one from his slave wife and one from his freeborn wife. The son of the slave wife was born in human attempt to bring about the fulfillment of God's promise. But the son of the freeborn wife was born as God's own fulfillment of his promise. These two women serve as an illustration of God's two covenants. The first woman, Hagar, represents Mount Sinai, where people received the law that enslaved them. And now Jerusalem is like Mount Sinai in Arabia because she and her children live in slavery to the law. But the other woman, Sarah, represents the heavenly Jerusalem. She is the free woman, and she is our mother, as Isaiah said. Rejoice, O childless woman, you have never, uh, you who have never given birth. Break into a joyful shout, you who have never been in labor. For the desolate woman now has more children than the woman who lives with her husband. And you, dear brothers and sisters, are children of the promise, just like Isaac. But you are now being persecuted by those who want you to keep the law, just as Ishmael, the child born by human effort, persecuted Isaac, the child born by the power of the Spirit. But what do the scriptures say about that? Get rid of the slave and her son, for the son of the slave woman will not share the inheritance with the free woman's son. So, dear brothers and sisters, we are not children of the slave woman. We are children of the free woman. All right. So, that's the, the rest of Galatians chapter 4. And there's all kinds of stuff uh, in here to unpack. You can go back and, and run through um, Genesis uh 16 and get a little bit more insight into uh, Sarah and Hagar if that's not something you're familiar with those are that's a in, uh, pivotal uh, story in uh, God's story and so that's another one to unpack way more than we've got time for this morning um, so uh, what's the thing that is the theme that keeps going through Galatians right is that Paul is beating this drum that like don't go back to being enslaved by the law once you've experienced uh, the gospel once you understand that faith in Christ is what brings salvation and that salvation brings you not only free from sin but it brings you uh, freedom in your everyday life like there's this freedom to actually do something that you really couldn't do sustainably before and that is freedom to live a selfless life to be a unselfish person he he's saying like don't go back to 
um, the old your old ways, right? Like you're not set free just so that you can do whatever you want. Because if you live that way, very quickly, you just become a slave to your selfish desires. Like if you just think carte blanche, I can live and do whatever I want to do. That's what freedom means. What you'll find is you will begin to be a very, very selfish person and you will be really a slave to doing whatever makes you feel good. And that's not the point of freedom in Christ. That's not, um, and that's not freedom. That's locked into doing what um, constantly uh, makes you feel good. And so he's like, freedom is about salvation, but it's also about freedom from the law and freedom from the regulations that the Jews tried to impose on people. And he uses the story of uh, Sarah and Ishmael as um, uh, like an allegory. It's a, it's a story that has multiple meanings. And so he pulls from that story to help them understand, like, here's a real thing in history that happened, but the lessons that we can pull from it are still applicable today. And so, again, if you're not familiar with that one, that's a good rabbit trail to chase down is learn about uh, Sarah and uh, Hagar. So, um, really, the big thing is uh, just to understand that, like, you're set free so that you have the opportunity to have the fruit of the Spirit, you know, that you have God's Spirit in you. And with God's Spirit in you, you're empowered to begin to live in a way that you couldn't live on your own, unselfishly uh, on uh, God power. And so you begin to, as you draw near to the Lord, as you mature in your relationship with God, as you get to know God more, as you get to know God's word more, um, it starts to mature you and grow you up in that relationship. And as a result, there's evidence in your life. And that evidence um, is uh, peace and patience and kindness and faithfulness and self-control and joy and contentment. And, and these are things that are um, kind of like... Uh, uh, dividends that get paid for people that are living the free life. And so it's kind of a cool thing. So anyways, that's the, that's, there's all kinds to unpack from there, but that's the, um, easy version for, uh, the stuff that stuck out to me this morning. So just to be remembering that, um, our freedom, not only was it bought, uh, at a high price, our freedom from sin, but it was also um, made available to us for a purpose, not just so that we escape our um, consequences or condemnation, but it's it's also so that we have uh, the opportunity to have a free life, right? Like not just um, not just hell insurance. It's a it's a benefit you today. Um, opportunity. So that's the nugget for today. All right, we got, uh, let me say hi to a few more folks before I pray and get off of here. Let me uh, try a little more Twinkie. I actually read it. It's um, Twinkies artificially flavored cappuccino mix. I mean, this is like, this is full on exotic coffee right here. Like this is way above the caliber of my normal uh, blend in the morning. So here we go. Yep, still tastes like Twinkies. Um, if you've ever had like a gas station cappuccino thing that felt like the mix was off, um, this is it. This is definitely it. I encourage you all to experience this. Um, whew. Yeah, it's got like a yellow film around it too, which apparently... Twinkies are yellow, so I mean they went all in with color, texture, flavor, all of it. Pretty amazing. All right, hey, we've got all kinds of people jumping in here this morning. Good morning, everybody. Again, if you're new, don't forget to go to the Jesus Time page and get your Jesus Time Nugget notebook. Um, we've got uh, Angela Gibson totally trying Twinkie coffee this week. Do it. I t I totally dare you to do it. Um, rally the whole family and try it together. Um, it's a bonding experience for sure. Lori, good morning. Kayla, good morning to you up in Canada. Uh, Laura Wagner, good morning to you. Um, 
via uh, Uniontown slash California. Um, Andrea, good morning to you from Vancouver. Joelle, good morning to you. Miss Misty out in Endicott, good morning. Colfax, Mr. Ian, good morning to you. Um, Jonathan and Jessica and the Biles gang, good morning to you here just outside of town. So it's good to see everybody on this morning and spend a little time together in God's Word and uh, cringing over Twinkie coffee and Twinkie cereal together. Um, so uh, if Twinkie makes any other amazing food, um, boy, I just can't wait to find out. It's uh, it's gonna it's gonna be awesome. Uh, so good times. Hey, let me pray for us and uh, cut you loose on a Wednesday morning. Now I can see out the window. It looks amazing, other than probably just touch chilly. But uh, it looks like it's gonna be a fabulous day. Praying the rain holds off. Um, so that I can uh, keep charging hard on projects. So let me pray. Man, Lord, we love you. We just, uh, we just thank you so much for Jesus. We thank you for our freedom. We thank you for our salvation. God, help us to really take hold of the idea of freedom in Christ, that um, to be free from uh, the law, but also to be free for something and help us to just really embrace that, wrestle with it, um, start to flesh it out. Like, what are we free for? And what would that look like to live a free life? So God, just uh, keep stirring our hearts, changing us to become more and more like you, helping us have your perspective and um, making us mature uh, followers of yours, Lord. And so we just pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Y'all are awesome. Have a uh, fabulous day. And uh, I'm definitely drinking the rest of my Twinkie coffee. Promise. See ya.